remote mountains of central Afghanistan, there is a place called Bamiyan City. Bamiyan City was once ruled by Alexander the Great, once destroyed by Genghis Khan. Today, Bamiyan City is a UNESCO World Heritage Site where giant Buddhas once stood. It's also a city that until recently lived in darkness. At the night we can't uh, study our lessons because we don't have any more electricity and uh, just we study uh, during the day. This is Bamiyan. The capital city of the Hazara people. The Hazara are a modern people. They have cell phones, computers, the internet. They even have a small university. But until recently, what the Hazara did not have was a power grid. So they had to use portable generators, small solar panels, and car batteries to power their lives. Just, I have one small battery. I change to, I charge by this car. If you have uh, electricity, we have everything, yeah? It is a way to develop. If we have uh, electricity, we will develop as soon as possible. Central Afghanistan is a tough place to build infrastructure. But today, Bamiyan does have power. In 2013, Sustainable Energy Services International, or CC, finished the Bamiyan Renewable Energy Project, funded by the New Zealand government. This project would definitely be the largest solar project in Afghanistan, probably the largest uh, in Central Asia as well. Bamiyan now has three massive solar arrays, totaling one megawatt of power and a first-class transmission and distribution system. The New Zealand government was trying to achieve economic growth and, and social development through the provision of energy. A self-sustaining, Western-style, profitable utility was needed. A utility that could work for decades, but the project also had to work in a community that had never before seen an electricity grid or a power meter. What the community had seen was many economic development projects that failed. The Hazara are so fed up with failure that when the Bamiyan Renewable Energy Project came along, they reacted with cynicism and distrust. Worldwide, economic development projects often fail because of poor financial planning, shoddy materials, bad engineering, or a lack of community outreach. The Bamiyan Renewable Energy Project seeks to avoid uh, the, the commonly made mistakes in development projects or infrastructure projects. To avoid those mistakes, the project relies on market capitalism, supply and demand. Bamiyan's electricity supply came from small generators, so energy prices were among the highest in the world. The communities, however, are unaware that their electricity rates are that high because they don't meter anything. By introducing a grid and electricity meters, prices could be slashed, generating enough consumer demand to support the utility. At the same time, a series of meetings were set up with local leaders to explain the project and gain their support. But the locals had a message of their own.
Shura leader Abdel Ahman knows what he's talking about. And with 10 years' experience in Afghanistan, Sustainable Energy Services International knew it too. So this project opted for a Western Standard tensile concrete pole that's designed to last for many, many years. In fact, all the materials, all the fittings, meet Western capacity and safety standards. That means connecting to a future national power grid will be easy. For example, the poles are all the same height, the conductors are the right size, the voltages are all the same. These communities can all be connected together without difficulty. So how do you build something like that in the central highlands of Afghanistan? I mean, I know it looks impressive, but really it's, um, we find it relatively straightforward to do the construction. But the logistics, moving material from Japan, Germany, the United States, New Zealand, bringing it through Pakistan, through all of the mountains and passes to get it to Bamiyan, that is a challenge. Given the logistical challenges, the project took about 16 months. But now that it's over, Sisi is still there, training local engineers. There needs to be a clear uh, pathway for capacity building and training for the owners and operators. In a few years, the Bamiyan Renewable Energy Project will be a Hazara-run operation, a modern utility driving economic growth and social development in Bamiyan. That's because the project is designed and engineered to work financially, socially, and practically in Afghanistan. Electricity is uh, like water. Without of water, we can't live, yeah? Uh, electricity is like that. We need that for that. It is essential. Mm -hmm.